All right, so today is uh, a cool day. It's my family's first hike now that we have our new daughter, Scarlett. And uh, we're, it's kind of been a while since me and my wife have, have uh, hiked as well as far as uh, like a straight up incline. We're going to a place called Kennesaw Mountain. And uh, it's about a mile and a half straight up. And we, we're taking the road portion, so it's kind of a, a big long bend, kind of the long way around, uh, because we have a stroller, and we don't want to push a stroller up a you know rocky mountain. So, uh, should be interesting and fun. I'm kind of wrapping this family hike into a landscape photography vlog. Um, my wife does not want to be in the video, uh, even though she's, I keep trying to convince her that she's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, but she's just doesn't want to be in the video. Uh, I will show uh, Scarlett uh, a little later when we get her in the stroller. Um, looking adorable as always, but uh, I, surprisingly today, I did not bring a wide angle lens, which is unbelievable for a landscape photographer. I just brought a uh, zoom lens, a 70 to 200, 2.8, and a macro lens, because it's very cloudy outside. Uh, you'll see in a minute. It's been raining uh, most of the day. It's not raining right now, but a lot of cloud coverage. So typically with this even lighting um, and really gross clouds, it'll be really good for macro work or like detail work um, or even some wildlife. But I didn't want to bring a wide angle lens, a wide angle lens because the uh, clouds aren't very attractive, at least they aren't yet. Um, and so a big wide shot isn't really going to do much on a cloudy gray day like today. So um, I will turn the camera back on when I get set up if I find a shot, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. And I've yet to find anything interesting enough to photograph. So I'm hoping this vlog isn't going to be a waste of time because then essentially I'm just talking to myself. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, so I found a few hawks circling right over my head. There's three of them. So I actually got, uh, I was actually stopped to take a picture of a bug with a macro lens, but I put on my 70 to 200 because there's hawks all above us. So I'm going to see if I can get any good pictures out of it. Got some good shots. Got have a few really good ones. Here's all three of them, kind of a triple threat. All right, so I'm fairly confident I got a pretty good shot of the hawks that were circling my head. That was just pure luck, it was awesome. Um, because I had stopped to take a picture of this insect that was on uh, a little plant. So, um, yeah, we'll see what I got. It was something really stupid and funny just happened. This lady with a pit bull, a uh, big pit bull, just like let her pit bull swipe into our stroller. She was walking the dog down the mountain, and my wife almost like strangled her. So I'm glad I had a camera, because that would have been funny to get on camera. But. Uh, once my wife told me what she did, I almost strangled her. Cause it's just, it's not good, not good etiquette. So, very eventful first family hike. Hawks, crazy people with dogs, all nine yards. Okay. It's getting really dark again. We have a lot of uh, coverage over the head. I'll show you here. Yeah, so it's about an hour until sunset. I'm hoping some of these clouds part because whenever there's direct sunlight just kind of beaming through a little patch of clouds, that's when the magic happens. So 
I guess all we can do is wait and see what happens. Alright, so I've stopped here at one of the openings to uh, look at these two mountains that are in the back here. There's one in the foreground and one way off in the background. And uh, I just released a video about using long lens for landscape photography. So what I'm doing is compressing that back mountain and just kind of clipping the first mountain so I can get kind of a three-dimensional shot. Um, it's not like an insane five-star portfolio shot, but I think I can make it work. So um, we'll try it, see what we can get. I'm not using a tripod right now because it's almost dark and we're trying to get down the mountain. So I'm just shooting handheld at uh, f8, uh, 200th of a second, ISO 100, and the vibration reduction is on on the lens so that there's no shake. So take a couple shots, see what we can get here. Shooting at 70 millimeters, about the perfect focal length. All right, I'm a little too bright, so I'm going to underexpose by two-thirds of a stop. Uh, always check your histogram when you're doing this, because you can see that you're just kind of burning out the highlights too much. So I'm going to underexpose two-thirds of a stop, see what that gets me. All right, much better. I can probably play with that. Uh, let's underexpose by a full stop, just in case. Underexposing by a full stop might have just gotten me what I needed. Remember, this is digital, so you're not going to break anything. You can shoot as much as you want. Don't be afraid. Just be like a kid. Just kind of play around and, uh, you know, carefree. You're not going to hurt anything. This is all just, this is all for fun. So, uh, the clouds are moving really fast. You see that? Should probably... Yeah, do I need to go for rain hits us. Uh, all right, I'm going to take a couple more. All right, I think that'll probably do it. See what I got. Clean off my viewfinder, I'm so sweaty. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. Time to go home. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my latest photography videos and adventures, click the big subscribe button below. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to become a great photographer, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.